Welcome, welcome everybody and welcome Cassandra. I'm so happy you're here today because I will ask you a bunch of questions about your experience in our recent program and also about your results. How are you today? I'm doing well. How about you? <laughs> Good, thank you. So I would like to start off by asking you, when you started about thinking, um, growing and building your online business, why was it important for you in the first place to dedicate your energy to this? It's been a long time coming. So on the whole, the motivations have always been tied to like schedule freedom, a lot of it, because I have a family and that sort of thing. So there's always been that fluctuation. But at the same time, I still wanted to contribute to something bigger than myself, not just fill in the time for something to do. Because let's be real, I get really bored and then I go squirrel and I go to the left side of the screen. So um, for me, trying to find my way into finding the right type of business and not only just in the type, but in the passion and what the motivation is behind it. So like I really love Love helping entrepreneurs. I love building up their um, their websites and their tech and that sort of thing. So it kind of stemmed from that. Um, just kind of, it was kind of trying to find a happiness on both sides, whatever balance that might be, but trying to find the happiness for both personal passions as well as professional ones. So, okay, nice, nice. Um, how long did it take you to take action towards then taking the leap and committing and finally saying, I know you've been on my email list for two years? Is that Two right? Years. And then yeah. finally you said, yes, let's do it. So how, like, okay, how long? Well, that would be two years, right? But um, when the offer came out, you were part of our case study. So when the offer came out, how, you know, how was your thought process? What was your decision-making process there to say, yes, I'm going to do that? It was basically coming down to the fact that I knew I was inching towards something and then I was looking for some sort of accountability. It was just something else that would motivate me to kind of continue pushing because it's not that I was getting complacent, but sometimes you just need a different perspective when you're trying to, there's something you're hurtling on, you're kind of caught. Yeah. And so for me to make the decision to kind of push that envelope a little bit and jump into a program like this was more for my own self accountability as well as just kind of helping me find a different workaround because something was obviously not working yet. So it's like trying to find that that expertise somewhere that could be maybe see something I'm not seeing. And that was kind of what was helping, that helped in my decision-making process for me, so. <laughs> very nice, very good. And we all need that. We all need somebody else to look over our work our launches our content our yeah just to bounce back ideas and to have a different perspective on things i think it's very very important it has helped me so much too in my journey um four eyes how do you say this for i see more than better than two <laughs> i'm sorry what was that yeah <laughs> how do you say this in english for a set of four eyes see more than two or something like that <laughs> so, i think that sounds right i think that sounds right <laughs> okay um what were some of the doubts and fears coming up in your mind prior to pulling the trigger on this particular program? I think where a lot of my doubt was, it was, I was in this and, I st and I'm still working through it. Like it's a never ending journey when you're in entrepreneurship, honestly, but I had two, two passionate ideas in my head and I was more or less trying to get clarity of like where my focus should lie and where I thought when I entered the program, I, th I thought I was going to go with one project and I ended up pivoting because I had this aha moment that was like, why am I pushing this? It's not that this part of my, my journey isn't going to happen. It's just, do I need to be focusing this right now when I have obviously a lot of talent in this area? And instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, that was where I was finding my conflict and I needed the, uh, needed a bit of help in that regard because I'm a multi-passionate person. I have never been diagnosed ADHD, but honestly, I swear to God, I have it. So it was nice having somebody really hear what I was needing. And that was helping my, my, my doubts and my mindset because I wasn't getting, wasn't finding my way through that noise. And so before I started the program, it was really, I was really having a hard time trying to, to, to kind of get the noise out of the way and really find that focus. So whether it was helping me say, um, jump into that opportunity. So. Right. Can you describe that noise? Like, was it like, oh my God, am I going to make the money back or am I going to succeed? Or what if I fail? Like what kind of noises were these going through your it mind? Was there was a lot of conflict in my mind and a lot of it was coming from personal responsibilities, the family part, the things you're running the house, you know, all got to pay the bills, got to pay the bills. But there was also the fact that I've tried and tried and tried and yeah. tried, and it's trying to 
take that self doubt because I have had those instances of failure, which in the end teach you things, but it, it's when you kind of compound failure or it feels like you're compounding failure, that's a lot of noise you're trying to walk, work through. A lot of mindsets, like, do I have the value? What do I need to be bringing to the table? Do I actually have the ability to do so? Those sorts of things. Yeah. Yeah. If there was something, what would you say was the number one thing that stopped you from buying? What was the one big objection? Was it time? Was it money? Was it something else? It was kind of a combination of the financial aspect because I wanted to, if I was putting my money where my mouth was, I wanted to make sure I could really follow through with the, with the process. But the other piece was I was concerned about was um, being on calls. I was had a little bit of concern because I didn't want to be flaky. I wanted to be accountable and I wanted to show up. And it was just making sure that I could honor that commitment alongside the financial commitment. So those were my, my, my hurdles that I've worked through a and little bit. It's. And you did, you did show up for yourself every single week. So, so good on you. I'm very proud of you. And I can't wait until the bit when we get to the question, you know, what was the biggest result, but we wait for that a little bit. <laughs> what was the magnet that attracted you to my products and services instead of anyone else's out there? It was the messaging. And I'm trying to remember because I've been on your list, like you said, for a couple of years. So there's been a few things that have come through that I've signed up for and It was the ability because I was looking for basically trying to hit a certain number a month and I wanted to be able to do it outside of per se a service-based product. So it was through your course, Lead Magnet, I think it was the most attractive at that at that moment in time for me. So that's why we looked at looking at launching a course and seeing how those launches would look and be able to create that recurring income and eventually make it evergreen if I want and those sorts of things. It was getting away from because I was in a burnout state so I was trying to find a way to still contribute still bring my voice to the world somehow but in a way that was a little bit more um for my mental health in some ways because it was a little bit less burnout a little less one-to-one space but at the same time still getting my knowledge out and being able to share that and help somebody along the way so right nice nice (laughs) share your feelings with us Cassandra share your feelings (laughs) Um, How did you feel going through the program? I felt really good. There was a lot of, how do I want to word it? I had a lot of pivots. So where I thought I was going to where I wound up definitely was um, exciting. Also recognizing that, you know, I'm on, uh, like I'm tapping into my tech skills and that sort of thing. And that, you know, I actually do have those skills. I actually bring them to the table, but the ability to kind of uh, to figure out the noise part, because it was, I've, where I've crashed and failed in the past is I've done too many things and not really niched in. And so the ability and the excitement behind being able to figure out where do I have the skills? What do I like to do? What can I bring the most to the table for my client, let alone for myself? And then it was really getting exciting for me because it was like, okay, I can do this. I can look at this. There's this opportunity here. So I can still be multi-passionate. I can still dabble and test and do the things, but I'm actually a little bit more tunneled in on how I want to do that and how I want to share my knowledge and that sort of thing and be able to help people in the long run. So I think that is so important to mention this. Everybody out there, it's completely normal to pivot a little bit to you know, have a little bit of shiny object syndrome going on. But the key here is to not jump on everything that pops up. Like st- at the beginning, like depending on your goal, like if you need money right now, right, go where the lowest hanging fruits are. Cassandra has an amazing skill. So we focused on honing in that and niching down and just offering that one particular service to one particular audience and not this and that and the other, right? Just because we feel like, you know, we heard something on Facebook about it. Like it is very, very important. (laughs) Remember, if you speak to everyone, you speak to no one. Messaging is important and that you keep focus on the one thing for a while until you reach your goals, until you make, you know, change these kind of people's lives this many. If you have a goal number, like an impact number and an income number and things like that. So it's really, really, really important to niche down as Cassandra just said. So that's amazing. And, you know, most most people I work with come in and have no idea or have maybe a little bit of an idea what they want to do and then end up pivoting. And it happens in the first few weeks and it's completely normal. And it's a, an exciting process as well, I think, like, because when you then feel so secure about what you actually want to do, then everything else becomes so much easier after. Right. Would you agree with that? I would definitely agree with that because it, there's so many 
newest and greatest things out there, it doesn't mean that newest and greatest thing is meant for you. And so being part of a program like this kind of helps you really prioritize because you need to be able to prioritize what is important to you, what is part of your value system as well. It's not just because it sells. You need to be able to stand behind it and not get the icky feels as well. Otherwise, you'll never sell it. So you need to be able to to really understand that. And a program like this does help you through that process as well. What did you like the most about the program? As much as I was nervous about being accountable on the calls, it was the calls, being able to get, and, and there was other entrepreneurs there with me. So we were kind of listening to each other's journey along the way. And you took time for each of us, but we were able to listen to what the pain points were and we could identify and be like, I recognize that. Okay, so she's talking to her, her about this, but she's talking to me about this. And so you were able to kind of, in that small cluster group, and plus I also really appreciated it. it was a small group. It gave us a lot of opportunity to really be able to dive into our problems or anything we were encountering and our wins at the same time. So it was really, as much as I was nervous about being making sure I can make the calls, I think that was probably my favorite part of it. <laughs> yeah, because you, you, it's amazing. Like it's, it's amazing what you can achieve if you actually just show up every single week. Guys, whoever's listening out there never feels like, isn't it sure? Should I do this? Should I not do this? Yeah, it's not rocket science. Like, you know, there's people who do it all the time. Like, you know, reach their goals, set their goals and just put, implement and take action. And you see great, great results come out of this. Like showing up for yourself is the biggest part. Like if you stick, like if you commit to something, show up right? You can't commit and then not show up. That is like already disproving to yourself, not not keeping the promise to yourself. Like you are, you're not coming for my, me, like you're coming for yourself, for yeah. your family, for your clients, right? To, to become a better entrepreneur as well. Yeah. yeah. What was it that was unexpected, if anything, that came up when you went through the program? What surprised you the most? What surprised me the most? Okay. I think it was more be the honesty. It was be able to get a little bit more honest with myself. It's like I was pushing myself for what I thought people wanted from me. And it was the ability for me to get that clarity that, no, this is actually who I am. This is actually, I feel good doing this type of work. This is what I want to do. This is where I, every time everybody, the people know this stuff. Why don't you do this? Or those sorts of things. So it was kind of that, that ability to say, I can be a multi-passionate in every direction at, at any point. Like we, we have amazing uh, opportunities to have the longest lives possible and make impact forever. As long as you want to be doing it, go out and make the impact. But the fact that I kept trying to hide and the fact that it, I was able to come through that and be able to find a way to continue to earn money and those sorts of things, you know, all the things that we need to do every day, pay the bills, but be able to do it with a smile on my face and actually really genuinely enjoy it and feel like it's, no, this is me. I can pull this into my identity. I can pull this into my values. And that was really, really cool to come out of the program with. So really leaning into that. <laughs> nice. I like the keyword identity, what you've just mentioned, because it really is. Like if you want to start something new, if you want to grow to the next level, you have to leave your old identity behind. And many people struggle with that because that's all we know. Like I am this kind of person who does this kind of thing. I am a sports person. I am a smoker or I am a vegan or whatever, right? Like if we want to grow to the next level, like we have to leave the old version behind us, like the old identity and, and be open to growing into the new one. I like that. And it's still a lot of work. Don't, it's never ending. It's, it's a never, never ending, ending, of course. Work. Because never ending. I don't want to say it's a quick win three months. Oh yeah, I got my identity and move on. No, you're going to have but you're going to have building blocks and that's a program like this is what you need to build a building block. It's like, okay, even when you're kicked in the butt and stuff isn't working, it's like how your resilience, how you pull, pull back in. And that's, that's a big part of it is you've got a framework to work with. It's like, okay, take a step back, brush off the dust. All right. So let's try it this way. You still have a framework. You can still try it from this angle. Yeah. I like that. So tell us what was, what has this done for your life and for your business? Well, I'm definitely on my way to my 10K per month goals. I started out my goals at like I'm sitting about $1,000 a month in recurring income. And now I'm up about 6,000 in recurring income and growing. So it's just one step at a time, nose to the, you know, no, nose to the grindstone. But it's been a huge, in three months, a huge launch pad for that next level for me. So it's going to be really cool to see what the end of 2024 brings going forward. So. 
Amazing. I love that. So in three months, you went from 1K MRR, monthly recurring revenue, to 6K. And the motivation behind that also, I think we should really touch on that if you feel comfortable about the day job. Like that was kind of like the motivation. Like I really want to be a bit more of my own boss and I really want to get rid of that negativity that I'm currently dealing with. If you would like to share a little bit about that, it would be great. <laughs> So when it came to the day job, yes, it fit the bills. I covered, you know, there's things that I covered, but at the same time, I was finding myself in that identity crisis again, because I was pushing to be the person I thought I needed to be, but I was burning out hard along the way. And so I was hitting a lot of negativity because you're not working and you're not performing at your best. I was working at like a 50% capacity. And honestly, like as an entrepreneur myself, I can't function at a 50% capacity, let alone offer that to someone else. And so there's been a lot of deep conversations in the last couple of months specifically that's really made me have to step back and go, where do I align? Where do my values be? And where do I feel like I'm, if it's not working, it's okay to say it's not working. And so that gave me the motivation to really have to sit back and go, okay, so what do I need to do to replace the income? Number one, what do I need to do to be able to grow it from here? Be like, okay, I'm taking away this almost safety blanket. I have to work through almost that grief process because it's like, okay, I'm giving up the safety blanket. What does that mean? It does not mean it's a bad thing. It just means that I've got, I'm trying to give you an analogy, but I don't have one right now. It's basically nose the grindstone, really work hard at it and give as much effort as I was trying to give this, even though I was burning out very quickly. So it was like, okay, can I take that energy, that gumption, that resilience and really funnel it in on what I can do? And I was paying attention to the things in the day job that I was loving to do and what I was not loving to do. And yeah. it was really, they, they call it the shed list. So I was like going through my shed list. I'm like, what can I give up? But what can I replace it with something that makes, that not only makes me feel better, that actually still contributes to the bottom line, contributes to helping other entrepreneurs and servicing and helping and making my, making my little piece of the planet. How can I make it really shine and pop and make sure that I'm, doing everything I can. And then I can look myself in the mirror and go, you've done enough. This is amazing. Keep going. Nice. Like, and really feel good about it. Nice. I think it also helped you with your confidence in terms of like going back to renegotiate things. So just to clarify for you guys out there, um, uh, Cassandra Substitute like made her own money now in MRR, the same amount of money in three months she's been earning from her day job. She had not been enjoying it too much. Sometimes let's say, you know, so, and then she was able to go back and rene renegotiate tasks and pricing and things like that. So it is a thing if you're thinking about, you know, leaving your job or maybe doing a side thing and then slowly transitioning into from side hustle into full-time, it can happen really, really quickly. She's like living proof for, for exactly that. And then that only in three months, I'm so proud of Lee, like honestly, and it's, because you showed up, because you did the work, because you had the to-do list every single week and you really were not, you know, it's not like, oh, why did you not do the thing? And it's, it's, you really tried your really best and you really showed up for yourself. And I think also maybe sh share a little bit um, how this affected your family life at home. It's definitely given me freedom because I had a little bit more authority of my schedule. I was creeping that back in my control, not having to tell my kids, like I have young kids. I'm sorry, mommy's on a call. Like, I'm sorry, I can't focus. I can't answer this. Oh, I have to process this. And there would be that disconnect because everybody has to have that transition time from working mode to, to family mode. And I was not actually getting that because I was so stressed all the time and so turned on in a wrong way. Like I was really not being able to adapt. And I was becoming a person with my kids, my husband, that I really was not liking. And it's been nice, especially the last few weeks where we've all got to slow down with the holidays. It's been nice to reconnect with everybody and know it's like, I don't have to run and be on a call nice. unless I want to be on that call. And that was a really, really lovely to be able to say that. Very like, nice. I don't have, I can be there for you guys. So it was really awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> that is so good. Cause in the end, that's what we all want, like more time and freedom with our loved ones. That's so good. If anything, can you list three more benefits you got out of this program? Um, well, I'm going to plug it. The Coach Marketing Hub has been definitely an added tool. I've been having so much fun building things in it, funnels, and just starting to 
develop what my my email sequences are going to look like and all of the things so like it I not only made my nerd brain very happy because I got to dabble in tech and learn stuff and get to play around and play in AI and all of those things but it also saved me a lot of money as well so which in in this transition from having more of a security blanket to not as much it's been lovely to be able to have this tech tool kind of helping me along the way so that was definitely an added bonus not sure if it'll be there forever for your programs but right now I got to take advantage of it so I really enjoyed that um it was also being able to the added benefits I, I kind of mentioned was being in those small calls and hearing other entrepreneurs and it gave you a different perspective on how they're approaching their business they may not even be in the same industry but you're hearing it might help you with how you're going to help your clients because how they approach might be how your future client approaches you so you could hear more pain points and those sorts of things as well so that was a definite added benefit um and I was just kind of the the extra tent like we, uh, there was a couple of times it was just you and I on a call and it was lovely to be able to have that one-on-one -on -one at time and kind of really dive in not only into the tech side because we had a tech block, but we also, and, as well as the coaching block, but it was lovely to kind of ideate and really get on point with what I needed to accomplish that week and move forward and kind of get those dopamine hits along the way. Cause you're like, yes, I'm achieving, I'm doing the things. Even if you have those little hiccups where you trip, it's like, no, but I still got this done. I still got this done. I still got this, pardon me landing page done, all of that. So it was really, really great to kind of have that kind of, it's almost a hug in itself, kind of all kind of wrapped into one package. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Would you recommend this coaching program and or slash coach marketing hub to others? If so, why? I am, well, I'm already telling everybody I know about Coach Marketing Hub because it not not only the financials, but the fact that everything's all in one. It's just been lovely to be able to not have to pivot programs as much as much as I love to multitask. It's not always attainable. Um, but as for the coaching program part, I definitely would. And the one piece of advice I give everybody is even on the weeks, like there was weeks that I couldn't be on the call for one reason or another, but I was still accountable to myself as well as to you in the sense it gave me that reciprocal mirror of messaging you going, hey, I can't be there, but we can touch base and we can have that follow up later and just make sure we're keeping the momentum. So communication, like anything else in this virtual environment, communication is key. Make sure you're honest with yourself as well as who you're working with. And you will go so far if you keep that name, keep up with that throughout the entire program. So dive into this, make sure that you're you're doing the best you can and just know that Every opportunity you get to grow is definitely worth it. And if a program like this, I think honestly is money in itself, um, <laughs> definitely uh, an opportunity to to really like, kind of stretch your wings and kind of be able to grow. So I would recommend this for anybody because you've been so reciprocative of what, what I needed in those moments, even on the low days. So not just the wins, but definitely on the low days, you've been amazing to work with. So definitely. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> what did you like the most about my coaching specifically? I like that you, uh, for me, again, with the noise, I've hinted at this a few times. For me, I need somebody to kick my butt. And so you were able to cut through when I was going off on my tangent, which, you know, this, this interview could probably be construed that way a little bit, but um, you were actually, <laughs> you actually cut through. It's like, okay, I heard something and you dialed it back in. And so it was amazing to have somebody actually hearing what I was saying, not just in my tangent, but hearing what I was saying and like saying, okay, you said this a couple of times, let's come back to this. Okay. I hear you need that, but let's come back to this. And so your ability to cut through that noise helped me to start noticing when I was going, okay, no, I'm going over to the left field. I don't need to be here. I need to be over here right now. And so that kind of clarity was amazing. I loved your touch points, your, 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 your bolstering when I was having those rough days and those sorts of things too was really, really appreciative. And I just really enjoyed when you die, because you, when you dialed in, you dial in. And that is amazing. Even in a, in a group program, no matter how big you dialed right in on what I needed. It was like, you flipped that hat and worked with me and then you flipped and went to the next person, but you gave them that attention. And I could see that as you were working with them. So I really appreciated that in your coaching style. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Um, when it comes to the content, what did you like the most about the content from the, you know, courses and stuff you got access to? I love the approachability. I love the way it was kind of laid out and it was in, um, built on itself. And I really appreciated that 
And it gave you, it's <laughs> my brain's wired that I need to be sequential. I need to have a certain order for how my brain processes information. And so I appreciated kind of going through those steps and being able to really build on itself and go, oh, okay, I haven't checked that out. Oh, I haven't checked this tool out. Oh, I haven't checked this opportunity out. And it's been lovely to see how it layered together throughout each, each nice. of the week. So awesome. that I really appreciated. Good, good. Awesome. Good stuff. Just two more <laughs> questions. Um, if you were to jump in a time machine and you would travel, have to travel back and talk to your past self before joining this program, what would you tell yourself? Don't be worried. It'll work out. Be yourself and trust the process. Like if there, there's, you know, as much as you might have been confused or upset or talking to yourself negatively saying, oh, because I'm not there. I'm not there. No, no, no. There's none of that. Be just have faith, jump in, trust the process, lean in, ask lots of questions, but just, just do it. Just, and full stop, just do it. <laughs> Would you go back two years in time to say, come on, hurry up, let's do it now? <laughs> yeah I would have I would have kicked my butt a little sooner I would have been like no 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 you don't need this thing over here no no you don't need this latest tech piece over here like no no you need to focus lady like smack 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 come on over here let's get it done then you can look at the shiny things down the road but like let's get it done let's mm -hmm. make you let's make you some money let's grow your spirit let's find your identity let's let's do it so. Nice. What would you say to someone who's still on the fence and not sure if he or she should enroll? I honestly would say, don't be afraid to ask for folks for testimonial. Like I'm not just blowing smoke, like ask Tina, like ask the coaches, whomever you're working with, find out who else has been through the program and then ask those questions and be like, they will, I will tell you, you need to do it. The only thing I can't tell you is how to pay for it. That's your part, but I can tell you what you're going to get away from it. I think honestly, and just ask the people around that take the program do it honestly there's no there's you're not going to fail unless you fail yourself first like you said if you're not accountable to yourself if you don't show up to the calls that's the only way this is not going to work so on it proofs in the pudding like obviously I've and I've still got work ahead of me but I've come so far in three months so if I can do it and I have the crazy schedule and the craziness that goes on in my life anybody can do it it's awesome nice amazing is there anything else you would like to add Honestly, just sign up, just join the program, trust the process, like go through the work, do the work, ask the questions. Just, it, honestly, your life will change and you'll build that foundation you need to keep growing and keep building on that change. So that's all I think I could add right now. <laughs> amazing. Thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, no problem. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I look forward to working with you again. <laughs> Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye.